most web apps nowadays use friendly URLs, and Zen402 is no different. In the admin control panel, you have search engine optimization options where you can use full friendly URLs, and you may want to also convert URLs to page titles. That's called unfurling as well, and you can save that, and now you'll have full friendly URLs. But this represents a problem if you're using Nginx. If you look at the Zen402 manual, they have instructions on setting this up. And so you would just basically copy this and paste this into your Nginx config file. You see the slash XF there. This is assuming that you've installed Zen402 into public HTML slash XF. Some people put it in the community folder. Some people put it just in the root directory. On my server, I'm serving uh, Zen402 right out of the root directory. So that is not a problem. We just need to modify it. So if we grab our Nginx config file here and open it up, in a previous video I did, I showed you how to do this. If we scroll down, we'll see our main slash location block, and we've modified this to match. So the first location block is going to is slash, slash XF here. We just need to remove that. It's just the slash. And then you have these directories here, which are just set to internal. And then this last block has the PHP location block. So it matches just here, just the same. And so that's what you need to enable if you want to be using friendly URLs. But there is another problem which presents itself. If you migrated your form from a vBulletin forum, you will have to use this plugin. And this plugin is actually very good. It redirects all the old vBulletin URL formats to the new Zen 4 versions. But out of the box, this only works correctly with friendly URLs if you're running this on Apache. If you're going to be using uh, Engine X, you have to modify it. So if you look through the notes here, a bunch of people were complaining this doesn't work on Engine X, and Marcus 68 did give a solution. He saw shows that this slash PHP location block doesn't work because of this this try files clause right here, that directive, and you need to modify it to match this. So we're just going to grab that and let's comment out this, and we'll just write normal so that we have this for our logs. And then underneath it, we're going to do vBulletin redirect fix. And then we can drop that in. Save that. Upload it. NGX restart for that to take effect. Now, I do want to mention, if you're using sentiment mod like I am, uh, AVA2000 does say that this is redundant and that it's no longer required. But in this case, I was not able to get my forum to work correctly with the vbolt and redirects by removing this so some of these things might be redundant but i don't believe that this line is oh we also actually have to remove that xf also save that because i'm running out of the root directory ngx restart and now we can go ahead and we can install that plugin the vbolt and redirect so we'll just go to the upload folder and then it's upload source. So that's going to go from our source folder directly into this source folder. So everything will match up. We'll want to log into our Zen 4 control panel and go to the add-on section. Once that's completed, we can install this plugin. Go to options and you'll see the vBulletin import log table. So if you imported from vBulletin to Zen 4, you will have this you will have this table with all the information about the imports. And this is just a test forum, so I don't have that. But if you had one, you would select it and click Save. It may automatically select it as well, unless you have a non-default table name. But that's actually it. That's all you have to do. You need to just make sure that those changes are made and that we add this fix that the Marcus guy posted, or else it will not work. Just to show you that it does work now, let's do testserver.best slash showthread.php question mark one so that would normally show us the thread which is the number one thread and that's an old vbolton url when we hit enter it would normally go through our redirection but because that import log is not set up that it won't actually do the full redirect but we can see that it's working because of this output here so if you do what we've done in this video it will work perfectly fine for you on your forum